Welcome back everybody to the next episode of Solitary Craft 7 Nuclear Apocalypse with me, your host, the Nerdy Gamer. Um, in the last episode we were focusing on... Well, I showed this off here, my cactus farm that's growing, and I told you all the updates that happened. We also made this here electric furnace so that we can cook things faster. It's struggling at the minute, so we're going to help it not struggle. Um, we also connected this up to a water source down below to help keep it full of water at all times, which is excelente. It means it keeps it grinding and doing its thing, um, which we're going to stop at the minute just to save some power. Um, yes, so we're going to put those in there, that goes in there, those go in there as well. Um, the main reason we got the electric furnace was because we were looking to get some seared brick. We had a lot of seared brick to cook up for Tinker's Construct. Um, in the meantime, though, that's being put on hold. So that's going to go in there too, just because it can. I put my redstone away, yes. Yes. Our next thing is to help boost the energy efficiency and power usage of our machines. Now, what may what I'm work, going to work on next may or may not fry the system. And I might need to upgrade rather quickly to a new system. I'm going to put that there, actually. And we don't care about looking behind that anymore. Um, yeah. We're going to break out that hole there. And you'll see I've got a new idea for what I'm doing. Okay. No, no, no. Yeah. That'll give me plenty of room. Okay, so I can plug this up now. Now here I can't plug up, but whatever. So we're going to come back into this area now, behind the scenes. Now we've got plenty of room to get down here if we need to. I don't see why we need to, other than just check on this and upgrade it later. Um, or to check on this and upgrade the, that, but yeah, again, not really seeing the need for it, but it's there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go the full length, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. Seven, another seven by seven room, starting here. So that's three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna go over another two, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now straight out. Why is there a torch there? Is that because that room is... Yes, it is. Wow, got a thunderstorm going on. So now to repair my pick. Wish I had some diamond, but I don't. And as always, four up. And because that room's next to us, we keep... And that might actually be a good thing to have that there. Especially that little hole already dug. We'll get that iron in a minute. And I don't know where my torches went to, but... Put that there. Actually, it goes there. Ceilings high at three. Torches go at... No, ceilings high at four. Torches go at level 3. There we go. Okay, so that's the outline. Now let's just get rid of this crap here in the middle. I will be back as soon as I have got this gone. Alrighty, welcome back everybody. We are now in this cool room behind the scenes of all of this. Now, um, 
off. Yeah, the torch is there to block off creepers. Okay. Ward off creepers. Now, as I mentioned before, we are low on power. Now, this machine needs lots of power. I mean, it's fully charged at the minute, but that's because it's just the macerator working. So, if we come look at it with just the macerator, jump down here. I mean, it's just barely keeping up with it. So, which must mean I got plenty of that. Keep cooking. Okay. Um, so, yes. Now, what I'm planning on doing on here is, and it's kind of ripping off by a, of a stocky, but it's a great way, and I already kind of thought of it, because I've done it before in other Let's Plays, in other worlds I've done. But uh, we're going to do some biofuel. And I'm thinking about instead of doing a um, biofuel generator, I want to do a semi semi fluid generator, which gives out 8 to 332 EU a tick max, which is great. So, yeah, it's the arms. So if I do that, that should keep us in line. I shouldn't have to do any transformer upgrades or downgrades or stuff. Um, yeah, and that should keep us full. But let's see. That says eight to thirty-two. So let's look at the. Uh, let's look at this real fast. This guy doesn't tell me. And it's possible that does 128, so let's go right real quick. Let's check out the uh, energy, 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 bio generator. Requires IC2 operation. Yes, we get it. But how much do you produce? Uh, looks like 16 if it's biomass or 8 if it's biomass so a semi fluid might be the same and that is getting really annoying we get it you're out of power I get it okay so we're gonna work with the I think we're gonna go with a semi fluid because it's 8 to 32 and I think this one is just 8 to 16. So yeah. So first off, we need to be able to make stuff. And um, a stocky also found a way to do that with apples. And I would love to do apples. Um, and I guess it gives you more biomass. And I've got plenty of apples. I mean, this apple tree, if I leave it alone long enough, it just produces like nuts. I mean, I've almost got a stack from one harvesting here. But eventually we will automate the apples and saplings and the stuff. Hmm, it's possible I want to work on the automation part first. Let's see here. Um, Let's go to the, I list this off once, let's go farms, multi-farms, and this takes, uh, okay, come on, I learned this somewhere. I'll be right back. One second. Okay, so I'm back. Um, we need to make a few things. Uh, I think it is a 3x3x4 three by three by minus 3 blocks. So that's 4 high, 9, 18, 36, 32. We need 32 farm blocks. And that's any of these. Um, 
you know, and that's stone bricks. This is mossy stone brick, which is not showing up. This is a farm block, which is cracked stone bricks, chiseled sandstone bricks, nether bricks, uh, chiseled stone bricks, which would be really kind of cool, but um, chiseled block and pillar blocks. But I'm just going to go with stone because it's probably the cheapest, to be honest. So, I mean, you can see cracked stone, you got bricks, you got uh, sandstone, and they looked cool depending. I don't remember how to get chiseled. We need a chisel. From Tinker's Construct. Okay. Uh, what else? Quartz or block of quartz and pillar blocks. All right. So it's possible I may go with chisels. Fancy stone brick into a chisel. Well, how do I get the fancy stone brick from stone road? How do you get stone road from stone bricks? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, so we're going to need lots of stone. I don't think we'll need that much. What did I say? We needed like 36 pieces. Oh, give it up, dog. My dog doesn't know when to quit, I swear. Okay, so we're going to come over here, and we're going to cook up some of that. And that'll get us started. So we're going to work on the automation of the farm before we are start working on other things. So, um, the other thing that the um, farm brick needed was tin electron tubes. Now those you get from a thermionic fabricator which takes glass and heating up and blah 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 um, so yeah that's that uh, so the next step is to make a thermionic fabricator which is this thing which is gold we need some um, bronze glass in the chest so bronze is the best thing broken shovels Bronze ingot. That's not working out. This kind of bronze. How do we get that one? Bronze dust. How do we get bronze dust? One tin, three copper. Because the other way, broken shovel was really the only way to get it. It's like, oh, you need a broken pickaxe. And then you put in a carpenter and get some bronze ingots. Or you can get a bronze crafting thing. Well, Unless you just find bronze, it ain't happening. I'm hoping this works. I'm thinking it does. If not, we'll make some bronze and we'll cheat it in, swap it out. I don't know how long I'm recording for. So, we need some tin. We've got some crushed tin here, and we got some copper, but it's three to one. Can I do just the crushed and crushed together? That would be awesome. <coughs> Let's see. We're going to do crushed. No. Yes, we can. Oh, oh, oh. So that's two, four, six, eight. Ta da! Now. Stop cooking that for a minute. We'll take those four. That gives us twelve. None of my other machines are working right now, so this is just taking a lot of power. Okay, okay. Now, what else do I need for the thermionic thing? Thermionic fabricator. Gold and glass. We got plenty of gold, I think. Yeah, we've got gold. I think it's really just three pieces. Uh, 
Okay, you do that while well, this guy does this. And we're going to take the rest of those. And because I don't want to be bothered with time, we will put it in here with those. That's the bronze, right? Yes. Oh, look. Crushed ore. One more will give us what we need. And there we go. Okay. Can can't rather really be bothered with time to wash it and stuff. Let's just uh, we'll throw it in here. We'll throw half in here and half in there. Okay, there's half of that. I know it's a big waste right there, but. Thermionic fabricator. Now we need a chest. Uh, two. No, nope, we can keep those and we'll take that out. And that gives us a chest. Got our glass. Got our bronze and I should have just taken out. That was really stupid. Okay, that gives us our sturdy machine anyway. Yes. Sturdy casing. And that gives us, it's very quite possible that is backwards. How's this thing go? Oh, we did need all four. Oh, great. Do you have enough power left to cook one? Da 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 Tutter. Okay. So this like that. That goes there. That goes there. Then we put the glass in. That's our thermionic fabricator. We need some more iron and stuff. Let's see. One piece of iron. One piece of that. We got plenty of those. We need some more wood. Uh, I'll take that just in case. I don't think I really need that though. <coughs> just in case. Okay, so let's first make this. And I'm actually going to need more. Ah, uh, that should be enough. <clears throat> so if we do this, that gives me eight. Two sticks. Do that, gives us those. Okay, those go there. We use those where we can. No. Piece of glass. Actually, I need to convert this. Now, this guy, no, let's keep using these where we can. Our first Sterling engine. What do we need a Sterling engine for? Well, like everything in forestry, it needs build craft power. So we're here looking for a block of coal. Okay. Now how much tin do I have? Because it's going to need a tin... Uh, conductive... Oh gosh. Um, farm blocks needs one of those. Needs electric tube, which needs tin ingots. What did I say? One, two, three, five tin ingots. Crushed tin ore. Huh. Okay, in the meantime... Seven, there we go. Okay, so, in here, 
we're going to put down our thermionic fabricator thusly one of those one of those block of that and we do that there we go and that'll start to heat up and melt that glass <clears throat> we need two redstones uh, dusts four one two three four five one more five okay now as long as this is when that is heated up and we have some glass it'll push it over to there just do your job Okay, uh, next part of this is copper. We need lots of copper, lots of half slabs, and lots of bricks. So you need to go back to cooking up cobble. Lots of cobble. <clears throat> we got plenty of half slabs that we can make. What we don't have is the copper. Just get one of those for now. We will break it down. Half will go here. Six, seven, eight. Put the other half here. We'll get some copper. Let's check on this guy. Cause we're getting, we're just over. I think I might need another add an engine, and I will do that in the next episode. Thank you everybody for watching. Hope you had fun. See y'all, nerds.